So tonight I watched a film that I had actually wanted to see at South by Southwest last year, um, but I missed all the screenings and then I was gone. So I didn't get to see it. And then it hit Netflix um, in December and somehow I failed to watch it before the end of the year. And I'm trying to catch up on all these things that I was like, I should watch it. And then I haven't. Um, so this is Noel Wells's Mr. Roosevelt. You probably know Noel Wells from the first season of Master of None or possibly the season that she was on SNL. Those are what she's most known for. Um, she wrote, directed, and starred in this film, and it won the Narrative Spotlight Audience Award at South by Southwest, which makes sense. It mostly is made um, and set in Austin. So, of course, Austin, you know, loves a uh, home, hometown story. So it's, a, it, it's as my two years in Austin that I've now spent a collective – eight days in Austin, I felt like it captured what I had noticed of Austin. So that's good. Um, it also captured in like the micro, like 10 minutes in LA that it, it captured three years of, of my LA. So that's good. Um, it's not great. I didn't like LA very much. I liked my friends in LA. That's about it. Um, but it was nice to see Franklin Village. That's, that's always a good little neighborhood. Um, so the plot is that a um, struggling would be improv comedian, not quite sure what she wants, um, woman named Emily is uh, living in LA. She's moved there from Austin. She's, she's struggling with auditions. She's currently working as an editor, but her entire office is inside um, a house or an apartment in the valley. It's kind of terrible. Um, she gets a phone call in the middle of trying to hook up with somebody who keeps trying to tweet while... She's giving him a blowjob, which is hilarious in and of itself. Um, and very LA. She uh, gets a phone call from her ex that her cat is dying. So at that point in the movie, I was like, oh shit, I didn't know this was about a cat dying. And um, I've, I've turned off a movie before um, because it was about a cat dying, except that was like a month after my cat died. It's It's been, it'll be, um, oh God, it'll be three years in April, so I'm getting... A little better with dealing with cat dying and things and and this is very brief in the film the cat spoilers the cat dies um when she gets to austin and she's now stuck there with her ex-boyfriend his new girlfriend and she's waiting for the cat ash ashes um i will say i did not have my cat cremated um well i did but i didn't take the ashes i don't i couldn't deal with that and i lived in an apartment so what was i going to do like bury him in my potted plants i don't think so so um Anyways, shenanigans ensue as she's dealing with the awkwardness of unable to deal with the fact that she had no closure with her ex and now he's in a new relationship and finding a new dynamic both with him and his new girlfriend as well as that sort of nostalgia for a place where you were someone different in your life and it's not how it was when it was comfort for you so it's not even a comfort anymore. Um, I know that feeling very well. So I thought this captured um, that essence of being utterly lost in both your personal and professional life, as well as um, how deep grieving can cause you to behave strangely. Um, so I, and she clearly loves Austin. So it was really nice to see her see Austin through her eyes. Um, my only complaint is there is this one actress in it. Um, her name is Daniela Pin Pinilla. She's very beautiful. And there was a bit of a vibe between her and Noelle Wells' character. And they didn't develop it into, like, a lesbian relationship. And I really wanted that because it felt like it was there. And then they just didn't explore it. I mean, they can be bisexual. I don't care. Um, but it wasn't there. So that was unfortunate because I felt like that was a missed missed opportunity um I you know I enjoyed this film so it's on Netflix you can watch it there um I would say if your cat has just died maybe don't watch it but um if you've got some room and you're grieving it's it's pretty low maintenance with the cat stuff um I like that his name was Mr. Roosevelt that's a good name for a cat um so yes this was Noelle Wells's Mr. Roosevelt from 2017. You can watch it on the Netflixes. I'd say it's pretty good. 
for a very for a directorial debut writer director acting comedy enjoy